Card 2000 Custom Championship is brought to you by... Welcome to the final round of this 2000 Card Championship. Laguna Seca it is. Here, winners and champions are made today. As for the championship itself, it is probably between Gilles de Ferran and Roberto Moreno. Just one point between them. Our golf driver, Timo Duy, is in P4 in the championship, hoping to get another good result in and perhaps finish this series in P3. Super easy poll on AI100. 106, 9, 6, 7 is about 0.8 of a second quicker than the real 2000 poll time. 1.3 seconds quicker than Deferrin. But I forgot to put the pit speed limiter in, so I got a one place grid penalty. Meaning I will start on, what is it then? Outside, inside, next to Deferrin. Should not make much of a difference. It's 42 laps here. Heat is always a factor at Laguna Seca. Regarding the tires, mm -hmm, it can be a problem if you are pushing too hard. The wear becomes pretty tangible here, meaning after five, six, seven, eight laps, the balance of the car really wanes. So for me, it's no option to go here for two stops, meaning 14, 15 laps in one stint. I'll instead do three stints, about 10 to 11 laps each. Concerning the championship, I think this qualifying could mean an early decision for the winner because look at, just look at it, Gilles Deferne is in P2 and his only rival, to be honest, Roberto Moreno, is only down in 16th. Will be pretty difficult for him to come back and, well, defeat Deferne. The third one in there. Juan Pablo Montoya is directly behind Deferrin, but he would need to, to actually win here or have Deferrin do a DNF or more or less finish outside the points, what's not very probable. For me, it can only be going for the race win, managing my tires, controlling the field. I hope it's going to work out. Here we go. Okay, Timo. All right, let's go. However, I'm on the inside. <laughs> in a P1, though I should be in P2, well, okay. Go, go, go. For the first time in the Andretti hairpin, yeah, got through. Heavy car, of course. lost two places. Attacking Fernandez. Well done, Timo. This is great. Come on, keep nailing those exits. You're leading. On your left. Wow, not bad, man. Hold your line. Hey, hey, Clear. hey, Fernandez. Hey, that's not funny at all, man. There was some contact. I think we both got away with it. 
Ah, it's too late. Ooh. Yeah. And it's not even a second that I'm up. Not as easy as I thought it would be to get away from them. But it's of course too early to say if this is their actual speed. Depending on, of course, on their pit stop strategy. Yeah, but at least Fernandez said the Ferran and go my my pace while I am pushing a bit too hard just a tad too hard one of these races where the AI again can do their uh, right, qualifying times in the race. <sighs> Even with a lot of fuel on board. Fernandez has a pretty impressive pace. I wonder what strategy he is on. No, 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 Timon. That wasn't good. Don't, don't chip. Ooh, too late. And he's through. Temperatures on the right side. Time was at Drive the car, you know. It's not worth it. Really, it's not worth it. Yeah, that's better. Just a tad more careful. Letting the car roll a bit more. Ah, he's coming in. Problem left solved. Side. Clear left. So I, left side. I'll do at least Clear three. Left. Oops, what are you doing, man? Misplaced texture. Keep doing it. You're in the lead. You've got about three laps of fuel left. Yeah, the parent is the strongest driver on the whole grid. So consistent.
See the difference? It's only about two, three, four degrees. But that's significant. Oh yeah, okay. It's getting under steery. Ferran seems to be on the same strategy as me. Impress it. Okay, fuel is taking a little longer than the tires, but okay, it's 11.2 is good. Exit here is, is tricky. Nah. You're looking your left front going into the Andretti hairpin. Okay. Left side. Clear left. Hey. This is how you warm up tires. Who's that? Canaan! Whew. Oh, that was Philly Pauli. He's a left down, so okay. That was his blue flag behavior. Canaan is pretty darn quick and seems to be on. Wow, on a two stop strategy. Here. Oh, fighting for grip. Okay, Kanan coming in. So, at least one driver, two drivers, three, yeah, four doing longer stints than me. Very interesting to see what Fernandez can do. 
he had the best pace. But coming in four or five times, I don't know. Okay, the one marker is missing. Doesn't help me. The car has pitting. Ah, too late, too late, too late. Ooh. Oh. Taking the ferrand. Terrific. Exactly what we came here for. You're in the lead. But will I stay in the lead? That's the question. Montoya in between. Now ah, the missing one board distracts me a little. I have to adjust my, my braking into corkscrew. It's not optimal. Ooh no! Oh god no! Turn 10. Oh god, that's not according to plan. Yeah. The moment. Ah, whoa, okay, go sing. Right side, you're in the middle, three wide. Play right. Play around. Oh my goodness. Ah. Sixth place. The moment I touched that curb, I knew it was wrong. Hey! Okay, need to pull my tires. Whoa, all right. Okay, it's gonna be difficult now. Cooling the tires a little, but staying on it. Clear timing mistake. It's the same Andretti getting super close in the last corner. Alright team, that's good consistency, keep it up. Oh. The gap in front has increased to 10 seconds. Too much luck up, definitely. increases. Come on, right front. Stay on it. 
control. We estimate four laps of fuel remaining. The lap time was at 110.2. Yes, 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 yes. Nice sliding. Yep. Ah, bad look, mate. Oh. Okay, Timo, the next car is Andretti. The next car. Understeer. It's getting pretty unprecise in the front. Yep. Waning grip. Really tangible. Oh, hello. Fronts are locking up almost everywhere now. Seeing right front locking into turn three. With some 20 seconds behind. The gap is pretty stable to to Ferran. Close to Lundell and V14. The pit crew is ready. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Locking yeah. left front into the corpse crew. Mm -hmm. Look out for the pit speed limit. Come on, guys. of Michael. Yes. Great. Great job, guys. Great job, crew. Guys. Oh, no. It's not helping me. What you doing, guys? Okay, Timo, don't let this guy distract you. Ooh. 
Clear left. Not able to, to catch Kujil me. I mean, have just a bit of damage on the rear wing, and yeah, 14 on the engine and and gearbox. But well, it just doesn't feel very good anymore. And I'm even under pressure here from Gidley. No, can't go their speed. That's pretty disappointing. You're locking your right front into turn three. And that's a whole train of cars directly behind Hidley. Look at that. Get away from them. Wow. That's a good lap. So far, it has been. But Moreno is now coming up. Wow! Moreno. 
Moreno. From out of nowhere. The leader's just done it. 108.4. From 16 to P4. In the meantime. Ah, uh, that was track limits, wasn't it? No. Good. Whoa. Not so easy. You're locking your left front into the corkscrew. Cap to Moreno ahead is increasing. It's now 1.8 seconds. Okay, Timo, you've got about four laps of fuel left. Come on, we'll get in this lap, but I'll need less fuel. tires here on the last meters look out for the pit speed limit expect traffic when you come out when we leave the pits we think we'll be in p11 really close to p1 and tagliani you're locking your right front going into turn 11. come on come on guys come on do this synchronized and aligned. Let me go. Hold on, go. Okay, now come on, race to the finish line. The Here we go. So, no hostages taken now. Car right, clear right. Doesn't look like a race win. At the moment. Ah, too wide. My Come goodness! P6. Right, the guy ahead of us is mm. left side, clear left. Yep. You're locking your right front into turn 
A bit too late again here, a bit too late. Ah! Run, kitty, come on, out of the way. Front kitty, please. The are being overlapped. Another time. Oh god, can't even overtake Baron. Come on. There's a car leaving the pit lane. Huh. 30 seconds difference to those other guys. guys there in the front. the Number pace of the current. It's as easy as that. Okay, I got minor damage in the rear. But who says he doesn't? Wow, look at that! Tracy and Montoya. Closing up to the Ferran. And uh, old Moreno. He did it again. Wow. Chapeau. Wow. Driver of the day, if you ask me. From 16 to 5.
seems they're gonna pull through until the end. Wow. So even without my yeah, my spin and overshooting. Ooh! Hey, yay, yay. I think it wouldn't have been possible for me to to get these guys. I don't know how bad the damage actually is in the rear. And if this damage causes the instability of the car. But hey, also that is part of racing. You cannot expect to always oh, go through unscathed. line for the last time P4, there we go. It's over. P4 it is P4 36 seconds behind Jill de Fern who wins another race Wow right side. okay right. Tracy and Montoya on the podium I'm just outside P4 Moreno for me the driver of the day coming from from P16 on the grid up to five yeah Wow, Andretti once again, hmm, too inconsistent, Canaan with a great result, Sevilla with a great result. Okay, but let's look into the results in detail. De Ferran, another win, three stops, like me, but 43 seconds uh, less on the track. I mean, even including my, my spin or, yeah, going off the track. Doesn't explain 43 seconds. This, well, this going off the track was about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, perhaps. So I lost more than half a second per lap to him. Paul Tracy, with only two stops, two stops, great performance. I couldn't have done that. The car then would have been, for me, in the last five, six laps, almost undrivable. Nice to see that, again, the AI uses different strategies, and different strategies can lead to. Yeah, good results. Montoya, third, third on the podium. Congrats. I'm in P4. This is, I think, also where I belong overall in the championship. Good enough. And Moreno, for me, the driver of the day, coming from P16 on the grid <laughs> to P5, only two seconds behind. Sevilla, great result. I think it's the best, his best result of the season. Andretti, hmm, well, not even a mixed season for him. I think um, he was pretty strong here and there in the quali, but not in the race. Tony Canan, good. Cristiano D'Amata, 9. Luis Garcia, 10. Alex Barron, 11. Norberto Fontana, yeah! Some points for the team. And look at that. Yeah, these drivers here. 13 and 14, Guzmán and Fittipaldi doing four stops, but just not having the overall pace, but in the points, 13, 14. And then, it's the other guys. Fernandez, four stops, but one lap behind. Guy, what happened? You were so fast in the beginning. Also, Bragg, poor result. 
Vassar again, super poor result. Okay, and those other drivers, except, oh, what? come on guys. Look at that, how slow they were. The best time, a 110.5 and a 110.8. Oh guys, ah, I have an explanation though that for that, or a theory. They fell behind very early in the race and had to concede then all the time throughout the race. Always having blue flags, so to say. All right, time for final standings in the championship. Jill de Ferran is the champion of my 2000 card custom championship. Well deserved, winning the last two races, being two more times on the podium and P8 finish in Rio. 81 points overall. Roberto Moreno a strong second with 72 points, one victory. In P3 it's Juan Pablo Montoya with 64 points overall. In P4 it's me, 56 points, one victory, one second place, one fourth place, one eleventh place and one, well, 26th place in hot Cleveland. Paul Tracy, a strong finish, last three races, always up there on the podium or close to it, finishing the season with 49 points. Jimmy Vassar, pretty disappointing, 34 points in the end, had a very bitter ending in the last two, three races. Christian Fittipaldi, solid seventh, 30 points, and then it's pretty close. Oriol Sevilla, strong 28. Michael Andretti, 27, compared to his values in the custom AI, that's pretty underwhelming. P10, Cristiano D'Amata, 26. Kenny Bragg in P11, 22. Same as Jimmy Vassar, pretty poor finish. Wasn't able to get into the points in the last two races. Then it's Alex Tagliani, 20 points. Tony Kanan, solid 19 in P13. And Helio Castro Neves, the next, a bit underwhelming driver, in P14 only with 14 points. P15, Brian Herder, remaining at 14 points. P16, Patrick Carpentier, 13. Adrian Fernandez in P17 with 12 points. Then it's Max Papis, 8 points. Dario Franchitti in 19th, only 8 points. Hmm. Luis Garcia ending up in P20, 7 points. Walter Salas staying on 5 in P21. Shinji Nakano, 4 points, P22. Alex Barron finally made it into the points. 4 points at Laguna Seca and P23 that is overall. Then it's Norberto Fontana, my teammate. <laughs> First points in the last race, 3 points here at Laguna Seca. Then it's Casey Mears with 2 points. Maurizio Gujelmin with 2 points and Rounding out the points table is Memo Gidley, one point. Only two drivers didn't get any points and these are Jordan and Blondell. I actually was going to put my summary here, my insights and my opinion on the custom AI and custom championship as it is right now. I've recorded it but it got too long, <laughs> as simple as that. I'll do another video about it and put it in the same playlist. Should be out in one or two days. Uh, I've already recorded it and uh, made a rough edit, but I'd like to, to spice it up a little with uh, some more footage and um, effects and stuff. Thank you very much for being here. My pleasure. I hope you had a good time. You enjoyed the series. The next one will come up. Please write down in the comments what you think, what you thought. If you have any requests, what do you want me to drive in AMS2 or in other sims, tell me. So thanks for being here, have a good time, until the next one, bye.